Hi. I don't even know if you can hear me. Um, I thought I'd quickly film a video and I have a plumber in the house replacing a water heater and so there's all sorts of noise with that and then out here we've got birds, planes, and somebody seems to be power washing something or whatever. But anyway, hopefully you can hear me and um, my focus won't go crazy because of all the stuff behind me. But I thought I'd quickly show you this and what I plan to use it for. Um, I purchased the Tahitian Toiletry 26 from Louis Vuitton. Uh, when it first came out, I got uh, lucky and got to grab one of the very, you know, right that very first day. And I have not used it yet. Now, number one, one of the reasons is because I am terrified <laughs> of Damier Azur, and I know I need to get over it. So I'm trying with a piece that has very little bit of the uh, untreated leather on it. That way I feel like um, it's a good starter piece because I'm concerned about the leather and it changing the, the darker color and so forth. Plus I absolutely love this print. Now, as you know, if you know me at all, I'm not a pink girl whatsoever, especially baby pink. I like really like bright fuchsias and those type of things, but baby pink is not me. But something about this bag just screamed um, plumeria flowers and Hawaiian you know, flowers and blooms, and it's springtime, and I guess I was just in the mood for that kind of thing. However, you know, the pink part I'm still kind of not terribly into, but I'm going to give this a try on an upcoming trip. I have been trying to pack for a trip, and I thought this would be a great thing to use in my carry-on that goes under the seat in front of me. I always do carry-on luggage no matter where I go. And I will be going to another country even, but I, and I still do carry-on only. So I have a roller bag that I put in the overhead compartment, and then I always have my big 45, my um, key ball 45. And um, this would be perfect to go inside that. And what I thought I would try to use it for is um, the just to have in the carry-all as my airplane things, the things I need for being on a plane. Um, personally, I have specific things I really like to have with me and easy access, and this will be easy to find inside of that too. So this is how I've packed it, and I thought I'd quickly just come through and show you what I have done. Now here's the interior of everything that I've packed. Okay. So what I've put in here that I think would be perfect for me for an airplane trip. Now this is just a day trip, like we'll only be in the air for a few hours, you know, four or five hours. Um, I think a little less than that actually is for where we're going, but anyway, um, it's not like an overnight where I need to take off my makeup and try to sleep or anything. So it's just a day trip, but still on an airplane. First of all, I have my passport and I don't really know if I'll be bringing it in this or not. I think I might keep it where my wallet is because it'll be sim more simple. So anyway, I have this in there just, um, for demonstration because I'm not sure what I'm doing with it right now. First thing I do when I get on an airplane, strange but true, I always bring antibacterial wipes because it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not a germaphobe of any sort really, not too much anyway, but I am conscious of the fact that they really don't ever <laughs> clean the tray tables and you know the armrests and all that kind of stuff is just kind of nasty. So both my husband and I, we just kind of like, you know, wipe off things that are going to be around us and our own hands and stuff just to kind of feel like we're not sitting in filth when we first go. So I always bring uh, wet wipes. We also have these for the hotel room. Um, I, <laughs> think about the remote control. Do you think they ever clean that thing? And it's in bed with people, usually. They're, and who knows? I, yeah. So always wipe off the remote control and like the telephone in your room that kind of thing I always wipe them down with these so I'm just saying that's just me you do you <laughs> I always bring tissues because especially now allergy time who knows what it will be like there I always like to have a pack of tissues easy to get to when I'm sneezing on a plane and then generally when I'm traveling anywhere I love to look at a little book of some sort about the area I'm going to and I'll be going to Montreal and I have a different book but this is a good one to read on the way just kind of ideas of restaurants and so forth and it does have a map in the back and I love the, the Frommers brand to me I like them the most of all the different travel books but I love you know just the different maps and different restaurants and different places to go and shopping and so forth because I will be on my own for a few days and I'll be wandering around and I'm very excited I will bring you guys with me I'm so happy you're coming with me so get your bag packed okay um, and then you might want to freshen up a little bit I do usually sometimes so afterwards if I still have like a ways to go or we like have to rent a car and drive from the airport whatever I like to go to the bathroom freshen up 
I have a little mini deodorant just in case I feel like I want it. Um, overseas, many times you need to fill out that customs form or whatever on the plane and nobody ever has pens, so I always bring a pen with me for that and then everybody wants to borrow it. Um, earbuds, I like keeping them in this because it's flat and the sun's gonna be right in my face now. <laughs> so I always do that, um, have earbuds. Then this is my charger. It's kind of large, but it works for everything. It's got these, it's, it's like the Kraken. It's got all these little um, different tips to use and then I can recharge it in the room with my the USB thing here so I love this charger this goes with me all the time it works for my Kindle it works for my um, with like iPad it works for my phone um, it just works for everything I need it for so I always bring my charger with me by Halo um, I threw in a nail file because nothing's worse than having a snaggy nail and not being able to do anything with it and this is one that they will not remove from my person because it's not you can't stab anybody with this kind of a file <laughs> so got that with me can't live my life without always having an option of putting my hair back that was a hair tie <laughs> and a little clippy Okay, here we go. A little hair tie and a clippy. In case I need to flip my hair back really fast, I've got something to do it with easily. I always bring my meds with me um, so I can get to them if I need them. And especially if you're checking luggage, make sure you bring them with you. So any medications, allergy medicines, I threw everything in here. You know, any um, possible like headache pills, you know, that type of thing. Are, I'll just have them all in here for the trip. A chapstick. I cannot live my life without chapstick or something like a lip balm of some sort so that has to go in here. I probably have six in my purse too, but you know, whatever. And then this. I want to wash my hands a thousand times when I'm traveling and then they get dry and I don't want to have to constantly do the, the lotion thing and uh, um, I want to have a bag that has something like a lotion in it that isn't something I have to take through TSA and have them, you know, the three ounce thing and whatever. So what I have learned to do, and it works really well, is the L'Occitane Shea Butter. They come in these, fabulous, the sun right in my face. They come in these little tins and they have a screw top and it's shea butter. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know if this is going to focus at all. And I do it for my cuticles and then you can just take a little wad of it and it, as it warms up in your hand, it just becomes, you know, a very nice emollient thing to use as a hand lotion. So that is fantastic. And that, my friends, is all I have in my Tahitian Toiletry 26 by Louis Vuitton. And <laughs> I thank you for joining me. Um, I might actually be in Montreal when you see this, um, and I hope that we are having a good time there. Um, and I'm glad you're coming with me. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'm going to come up with more ways to use this, but this is my first outing with this lovely lady, and um, we'll see how we get along. <laughs> Bye, guys.